Okay, we're working on our neck bridges. Uh, we're going to work with some bridging suplex variations. Uh, so with this, I generally find that the biggest struggle is not necessarily in the neck strength, but it's actually in the flexibility through the back and through the hips, and also confidence with throwing your head back and throwing your body back, especially without a safety net. So uh, by using the corner, this is almost like a safety net for when you're starting out. Um, I would net, uh, generally aim for five reps as your beginning, you want to work your way up to 10 as you, you become more advanced. So with this one, we want to stand just in front of the corner. We're going to make sure we throw our head back and our body over. I never want to reach and lean to one side. As I come over, I'm going to catch the top rope with my hands, thumbs pointing down. I'm going to walk myself down until I touch the mat, walk myself back up. That's one rep. So it should look something like this. Back up. If you need a little bit of extra momentum, you can bend your knees first before you, you thrust. So a little bit of a bend in the knees and then back. Well, you made it to the end, but it's not over. If you want to see more videos like that, click on the subscribe button in the top right hand corner, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be a stranger, comment below.